The three people, the three women who founded Black Lives Matter are literal witches and warlocks. They are Satan worshipers. You have to wake up to that fact. You are helping them use their spells, conjure up spirits, and use their satan do their satanic rituals at the scene. They go to these cities and they pour water down on the ground wherever a black person was shot or killed for whatever reason, because it's part of their satanic ritual. Waikisha Wilson. Waikisha Wilson. They do satanic rituals directly in front of you, and you don't even realize it. You say, say his name, say his name, say her name, say her name. Black Lives Matter told you to do that because that's part of their satanic spell. George Floyd! George Floyd! George Floyd! George Floyd! If you believe in Jesus Christ, if you believe in God, and if you believe in the fact that Satan is evil, and he wants you to burn in hell, and he wants to devour you, you cannot be part of this movement. These are witches and warlocks. They literally do satanic rituals in private and directly in front of you. They just don't do it in a way that you catch on to it when they do it in public. These people are using Satan's power, and you're giving Satan power through these three witches, and you don't even realize it. Doing literally what the devil wants you to do. This is what Satan wants you to do. Endless violence, endless destruction, endless murder, endless everything that is bad and makes the devil happy. Gives Satan more and more power. More chaos, more hatred. That's what he wants. That's what gives him power. We become very intimate with the spirits that we call on regularly, right? Like each of them seems to have a different presence and personality. You know, I laugh a lot with Waikisha, you know, and I didn't meet her in her body, right? Yeah. I met her through this work. It's, it's, a, it's a very important practice. Um, hashtags are, for us, are way more than a hashtag. It is um, literally almost resurrecting a spirit so they can work through us to get the work that we need to get done. I started to feel personally connected mm -hmm. and responsible and accountable to them, um, both from a deeply political place, but also from a deeply spiritual place and um always you know in, in, in my tradition you offer things that that your loved one who passed away would want you know um whether it's like honey or tobacco um i, I believe so many of them work through us black lives matter uh is ran by three witches Alicia Garza Patrice Colors and Opa Tometi she's of Nigerian descent they are all Three are part of the Black Boule Secret Society, and there are witches, they're warlocks, and the entire spiritual dogma or doctrine of Black Lives Matter is from the West African religion called Odu Ifa, capital O-D-U, then spacing capital I-F-A. But over 3,000 different religions in Africa, or Akibalon, is rooted in witchcraft and divination. So these three witches, uh, Alicia Garza, Opa Tometi, okay, and Patrice Colors, are using the psyop of the witchcraft religion of Odu Aipa, which concentrates on 16 points of demonic possession and demonic influence through demonic performance of what? Libations. Because the term libation means the liquid of darkness. When we come out into the streets... And we pray, you know, the first thing that we do when we hear of a murder is we come out, we pray, we pour a libation, we build with the community where um, the person's life was stolen. And it took almost a year for me to realize that this movement is much more than a racial and social justice movement. At its core, it's a spiritual movement. Because we're literally standing on spilled blood, right? Yeah. And you can't pretend like that's work that's just like some organizing work. That's... You know, that's some serious stuff, right? They give libations, they pour liquid, what they say, unto the gods of Africa. It's all built on witchcraft. When we say their names, right, so we speak their names, we say her name, say their names, we do that all the time, that you kind of invoke that spirit, and then those spirits actually become present with you, right? So then Black Lives Matter has 16.
18 chapters in the United States and in Canada, which each chapter represents a name of a god or goddess in the Ifu religion called Odu Ifu, which has 16 points. 16 chapters of demonic possession. Black Lives Matter, they're operating through both omnikinesis and telekinesis. It's witchcraft. Wherever they go to create mayhem and destruction, they send witches. And every um, satellite head, every person of these 16 chapters of Black Lives Matter, they are a witch and a warlock. So with Black Lives Matter, they have molded themselves after a serpentine psychology, all three of these women's women are witches. They're warlocks. Spirituality is at the center of Black Lives Matter, um, and I think that's not just for us. I feel like so many um, leaders and so many organizers um, are deeply engaged in, in a pretty um, important spiritual practice. I don't think I could I could do this work without that. I don't think I could do it as long as I've done it and as consistently um it feels like if i didn't do that it would be antithetical to this work to defeat black lives matter to defeat the nc you can't defeat these organizations through the barrel of a gun you can only defeat the nc and black lives matter through spiritual warfare in the bible both the old and new testament it's clear that when we die we no longer have cognitive thought or obviously the ability to communicate as if we are asleep but man dieth and wasteth away, man giveth up the ghost, and where is he? As the waters fail from the sea, and the flood decayeth and dryeth up, so man lieth down, and riseth not, till the heavens be no more. They shall not awake, nor be raised out of their sleep. Job 14, 10-12 so, if the founders and leaders of Black Lives Matter are in fact communicating and speaking with spirits or entities, who are they talking to? Demons? Or are they just talking to themselves? Whether actual contact is made or not, these sort of practices are forbidden by God, as clearly described in Deuteronomy 18, 10-12. There shall not be found among you anyone that useth divination, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord.